Dude, you collect VW vans. Explain. Uh, that's more like hoarding. I got, a lot of, <laughs> I got a lot of Volkswagens. How many do you um, have? I, I don't want to sound like a douche, but I lost count. It's over 20. You have more than 20 Volkswagens? Yes. But why them? Um, it, a Volkswagen was a Volkswagen bus, a 1968 Volkswagen bus, was my first car. And for some reason, uh, once I started talking to Jay uh, Leno, um, you know, he showed me his collection and he, he started telling me about investing money and being able to enjoy your investment. And so um, I had gotten my ex-girlfriend her first car back and then his guys helped me get my first car back, which was a bus. And they said, well, if there's anything else you want, let me know. And I go, well, if you come across another one of these, let me know. They call me three days later. We got one. And I said, well, I'll take it. And that just kept <laughs> going. And the reason why is it's just it's such a cool, iconic car. You know, it's like so there's some guys that collect nothing but Porsches. And with yeah. a bus, no one's looking at you like, oh, my God, look at another Porsche. Right. But with buses, it's just it's, you know, it's 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 a fun bus. It's it's a cool car. And I um, I wanted to be known as the Volkswagen bus guy. Look at all your buses. That's yeah. so crazy. I started collecting them about 10 years ago. So do you, do you buy them in this condition or do no, you have them refurbished? No. Well, in the beginning I would try to buy them as as, as you know in as good as uh, condition as possible. But then I, you know, I, I met some people that do some amazing work. There's a friend of mine named Henry Marcheno who does all the restorations and he will take a, you know, a bus that's all rusted out and completely just in shambles and he'll make a, a, a Picasso he'll make a work wow. of art these uh these buses are just you know, people come in and they see them I mean they light up <laughs> they light up and uh so again, you got to, some to other be, cars in there too though I do I do what is actually, that is that a 356 that the one to the right oh the, that's another VW yeah. I can't see what else do you have there uh well I no longer have the the bugs I only have uh one bug now um, but it's mostly buses. Mostly buses mostly and one buses. bug. That's one it? Bug. So it's all Volkswagens. Um, well, from what you see right there. Um, I do have muscle cars. I got a... a that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, talking. Let me see. I have two 69 Chevelles. I have okay. one that's a Restomod and one that's all original. Um, yeah. I have uh, two Camaros. I have one that's a Restomod of 69 and another 69 that's all original. So yeah. I got one and one. Um, I got a 1964. Yeah, there it is. I have a 1964 uh, Impala that's actually stock. Ah. So I didn't I didn't low rider it out because oh, everybody wow. thought I was going to do that. Um, that's I, a beautiful year. That 69. Yeah. 69 Chevelles are gorgeous. Look at that. Is that the rest of mine or is that the original? No, that's the, uh, original. That's the original. It's got all the paperwork. I actually wow. got that one at the uh, Barrett Jackson car auction. Oh, yeah, it so, 396. That's the same one from John Wick. And then uh, no, I he got, has a 70. I have a, <clears throat> a, a black Chevelle uh, that I call Cocaine Bear because, uh, man, that thing is just <laughs> obnoxious. It is loud. It's powerful. It rattles. The whole neighborhood hears it. And that's and when 69 you too? It, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's badass. Um, so, I mean, it's not that I'm just <clears throat> strictly Volkswagen. I get but it. That's, that's how it started. And the beauty of it is I have people that are constantly sending me pictures. Hey, my, my friend is selling this. My friend is selling that. So yeah, what is I, that? That is a Camaro that they converted into a Firebird? Is that uh, what it is? I no longer have that one, but I do have a 1979 Trans Am. Oh, the real um, one. The real one, yeah. This but, one, this one's a, a you know there was a company. There's a company called Trans Am Depot in Florida, and they will take a Camaro and then they'll turn it into a Trans Am. And it, it has the Pontiac logo and everything, huh? Yeah. No, that's the one I still have right there. It's blue. It's beautiful. Oh wow! Look at that pretty thing. Trans Ams are gorgeous. It's it's long too. God. The whole hood is really really long. Does anybody it's, ever make a Trans Am that's like that is like a really solid driving car though? Has anybody done like a wild resto mod with like a custom chassis? I mean, they must have. I've I've never driven one or seen one, uh, and all the Trans Ams I've been in have always been manual. No, I mean uh, stock. I mean, uh, like th th whether or not they're you know they change the suspension, manual transmission is the way to go with a car like that always. But I mean, it, d has anybody done like a real resto mod with a Trans Am? They must have. You never see them though. You see them more like kind of in stock form. Yeah, I mean, they try to keep it looking yeah. like it, you know, they wanted to have that look. But anyway, yeah, so I, there's, there's, well, I have a bunch of muscle cars, but people know me as the Volkswagen bus guy. 